Days before laying the deceased to rest, they lament that sadly, no amount of sentencing can ever bring the family back or the community's image. Krista Campbell has that angle. A rainy day in Coco Peace, Chapleton, Clarendon, mirroring the mood of relatives and neighbors days before they lay 34-year-old Kamisha Wright and her four girls, 15-year-old Kimani Smith, 10-year-old Shemani Smith, 5-year-old Kafana Smith, and 23-month-old Tishana Henry to rest. TVJ News went to the area to seek reactions to news that the man accused of slashing their throats has confessed to the murders. We still not satisfied, Virgin. Prime Don can bring them back far. Earl Smith is a grandfather of the three older deceased girls. Like him, residents say it's still hard to come to terms with the crime that has left an eternal stain in their community. I should never bury them. I them should I come bury me? As the grand thing with them. We're me there now. Me there, so. And them go down. I've got him silver tip right now. Yeah. Every yeah, time I remember. It's like saying nothing left in our empty. Everybody feel it. The boys are not trapped in the whole world. You know. Yeah. The boys are not trapped in the whole world. And the boys even left a big dent in the community where left one history in 500 years. Something like this, Africa world. Now residents contend there was never any doubt in their minds who had committed the gruesome murders. That boy a sharp knife and the people say I'm going to murder some people. We don't know who my talk. I we can't believe saying one people. But now that he has confessed, a bit of relief and one lingering question. I like how he admits saying kill him. He kill the people. Him. But when me that want to ask him now, why? In first now, why? Why are you killing you then? What give him that reason to do that? Brutal hack. Now that a confession has been made, it remains to be seen if the director of public prosecutions will still ask for the death penalty. Residents have their own thoughts on the matter. You are like a youth like that. Because you and your justice can come out of this again, you know. Why you get out of the country than 25 years when you know they can't live out. A dead squad is a boy that should have even put It's a boy that should never try to court. The 34-year-old mother and her four children will be laid to rest on Sunday. Krista Campbell, TVJ News.